Hello everyone, welcome to another 2 minute tidbit where I try show you something interesting in around 2 minutes. In this video I'm going to show you the portable version of the Arduino IDE and explain why it's actually really useful. I even exclusively use the portable version where I can. So first up, what is it? It's a version of the Arduino IDE which is entirely self-contained in one folder. This is different from the regular Arduino IDE which saves your libraries, hardware definitions and sketchbook files in your documents on Windows. Arduino describes a couple of use cases for why you might want to use it on their site, but none of these are actually why I use it. The main reason I use it is it allows me to maintain multiple instances of the Arduino IDE all at once that are independent of each other. It's mostly not even new versions of the Arduino IDE itself I'm concerned about, although it is useful that I can try out new versions without impacting my existing installs. But what I find really useful is since each instance has its own libraries and hardware folders, you can install different versions of these things. Take for example the Arduino JSON library. It has breaking changes between version 5 and 6. You might find some libraries that make use of it have already updated to use version 6, while some lazy library developers still haven't updated theirs yet so they use version 5. With the regular IDE, you would need to swap the Arduino JSON version before compiling sketches that use these libraries. But with the portable IDE, you could simply create a second instance of the IDE, one that uses V6 and one that uses V5. To install the portable version, go to the Arduino download page and download the zip version of the IDE. You can also do the same steps with the Linux version, but the Mac version does not officially support it, although there is a community workaround that I have not tried. I created a folder called Arduino on the root of my C drive and I extracted the zip in there. You can put it wherever you want, but be aware that you can run into some issues if your path is too long. I create a clean folder for storing untouched versions of the Arduino IDE, so I don't have to download and extract every time I need a new version. Open up the Arduino IDE folders till you get where the Arduino.exe is and create a new folder called Portable. You can take a copy of the Arduino IDE folder and put it in your Arduino folder from earlier. It might be helpful to rename it to something meaningful to you. And that's it. You can launch it and use it like any other IDE now. Just note that when you install libraries, they will go into the Portable Sketchbook Libraries folder. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a huge thanks to my GitHub sponsors, and I will see you next time.